five minutes for an opening statement. Uh, we have two bills that are before us today, and the underlying matters are well vetted before this committee. Uh, one bill would uh, terminate the orderly liquidation authority of the Dodd-Frank Act, a bill uh, authored by the gentleman from Georgia, Mr. Wes Moreland. The other would ensure that uh, the CFPB is placed on budget, a bill by the gentleman from Kentucky, Mr. Barr. With respect to the OLA uh, bill, uh, I would remind all members that uh, last evening they had an opportunity, as just about every member did, to vote for a bankruptcy bill for large, complex financial institutions, a bipartisan bill, not within this committee's jurisdiction, but within the jurisdiction uh, of the Judiciary Committee. Uh, it was passed overwhelmingly last night, and I hope that it will enjoy swift passage uh, through the legislative process and be signed by the President and to law. Uh, it is important because what the, this bill, the gentleman from Georgia represents, is an opportunity to once again reaffirm uh, when it comes to the resolution of these large, complex financial institutions, should we have bailouts or should we have bankruptcy? Uh, I think most people, particularly on the Republican side of the aisle, believe there should be bankruptcy. No sweetheart deals, no more AIG deals. Uh, where uh, foreign banks get, uh, foreign creditors get 100 cents uh, on the dollar, uh, that the bankruptcy process is far superior. Uh, there is no one financial institution that should be deemed too big to fail and others too small to matter. And it was an important bill that was passed last night, uh, and this is a compliment to it. Uh, to ensure that there is an improved bankruptcy process for these institutions, but it needs to be a bankruptcy process, and it needs to be done without, without taxpayer funds. Now, for those who are saying that somehow the taxpayers will be compensated uh, for their loss, we heard the same things regarding the National Flood Insurance Program. We've heard the same thing with respect to the FHA bailout. We've heard the same thing with respect to PBGC. We've heard these promises before that taxpayer funds are not at risk. Lo and behold, it proves that they are. Again, it's a very simple matter. For large, complex financial institutions, do you want bankruptcy? Do you want bailout? With respect to the CFPB, uh, we will continue to debate uh, this, uh, the activities of this particular rogue agency, but there's a very important principle involved, regardless of whether we're dealing with the CFPB or any other government agency, and that is uh, Congress's Article I authority to make laws, Congress's Article I authority to exercise the power of the purse. Uh, every government agency ought to be accountable to the elected representatives of we the people and CFPB should not be an exception to that rule. We have the Pentagon, which is on budget. We have the Justice Department, which is on budget. There is certainly no greater uh, duty we have than to provide for the common defense uh, and we do not let the Pentagon write their own budget. We should not let the CFPB uh, right there on budget. Uh, it is a base matter of congressional oversight and of Article I authority. And in this particular case, this is an agency that is so deserved of oversight, and merely attending a hearing and sitting in a witness chair is no substitute for actually having the agency on budget. And I would remind my friends on the other side of the aisle uh, that not only are they on the other side of the aisle, at some point the shoe's going to be on the other foot. At some point the White House will change hands. At some point the Congress will change hands. Uh, do they want a CFPB head who might request $8.47 as the entire budget for the CFPB and have absolutely no voice in that matter? I would have my friends on the other side of the aisle uh, contemplate that. I'm happy to say also, as I look at the federal uh, the national debt clock spinning out of control, uh, that both of these bills, according to the Congressional Budget Office that I have been known to quibble with on occasion, score these as both direct savings, not unimportant as we continue to see, again, our unsustainable national debt 
uh, roll out of control. I look forward to um, passing these bills uh, through this markup today. I commend the gentleman from Georgia and the gentleman from Kentucky for their leadership. I yield back and now recognize the ranking